Well, welcome back, everyone. We have Dr. Bill Angel from OSU Lima in, and we're going to be talking about the presidential race, politics, of course. Yes. All right. So, Bill, lots happening. Well, maybe maybe not so much. I oh. mean, because you know, Mickey Hale, Nikki Haley had a real chance to make to pick up some ground in New Hampshire and just didn't. I yeah. mean, back in 2000 when John McCain was running against George W. Bush, he spent a lot of time in New Hampshire. He once he showed up at a, at a meeting hall in, 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 um, in Manchester, 13 people. He stayed and talked to everybody. Yeah. And, and he did that the entire time and actually won the New Hampshire, Hampshire primary by basically trying to appeal to independence. And that's one of the keys of New Hampshire is a primary state, independence vote. And Nikki Haley needed to get independence to come closer to Donald Trump, and she just didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think of the the polls that are out there? You know, you've got like, you know, sometimes Biden ahead of Trump or Trump ahead of Biden, but then Nikki Haley way in front of Biden. And is that what do you think of anything? I about think the Nikki polls, Haley. Or? Nikki Haley. You know, has to have to, to come close to Trump. She has to go after independence, mm -hmm. and that's why the New Hampshire um, was a mistake. Was a mistake for her not to go after independence in New Hampshire. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's very little, a very slim window for her. Yeah. Uh, and we got Super Tuesday coming up on March the fifth. I mean, and those are mostly southern states, Trump-friendly states. It's going to be really hard for her to close the gap on him. Right. So do you think there's any chance at all? Or do you think she's going to stay in the race, perhaps? I think she'll stay in the race, at least through Super Tuesday. Yeah, she's been but, getting a lot of pressure to stay in, I but, think. But, but, but by Super Tuesday, I think the, the way those states line up, it's not ter terribly friendly for her. Right. And then, of course, uh, Biden so far, I don't think he has anybody running against him on the Democratic side. Yeah, we've got the, new, like the uh, South Carolina primary. He's mm -hmm. coming up this weekend. But nobody's running against him. I think Democrats are a little nervous because they're worried about things. We've talked about this before, his age. And, of course, you got the, the, the uh, uh, war in Israel, mm -hmm. Israel and Hamas and all that. Yeah. And, and that, is, that is making people a bit nervous about about his his chances, especially with the, really, the campaign may start on March the 6th. That's true. And one of the good things, I guess, for him is that apparently the United States has the best economy right now in the entire world. Except that people don't feel it's like the best economy. No, that's the problem. That's it's true. It's not what the, well, not what the economists say. It's what people say when they sit down at dinner or they wake up in breakfast and they have talks at the diner and, and they're just not feeling as comfortable with the economy as the economists want us to think. Do you think that's because of the, the long time that we've had with inflation? I mean, the entire world has dealt with this, but, yeah. you know, we're talking about the United States. So a lot of people, you know, they're dealing with the inflation, the prices of everything going up, and then they are coming down, and they've been coming down pretty soon. Swiftly, but they also you go back up too on occasion, yeah. you know, and so and so you find that their people are kind of un uneasy, I think, about the economy. Mm -hmm. And what's one of the things, one of the lines that Trump has is that the economy was very good when he was president, and look what happened when Joe Biden becomes president. Yeah. president you know, so he's using that economy angle, and also the border issue. Yeah. Uh, is one that's also coming back on Biden. So that's going to become a more intense issue as we move along. It is. The border is uh, something that everyone's been talking about for quite some time now. You know, yeah. they've you know they've been trying to do immigration deals for years, mm -hmm. and uh, they're finally getting closer to it. But uh, some pushback here and there, you know, obviously. But... Well, well, the problem is Trump knows it's a good issue. Well, it's yeah. a good issue for him. And so, and Republicans who support him know it's a good issue. So the ones in the House, which are a lot of MAGA Republicans in the House, are kind of slow walking this, this, this uh, uh, issue back and, mm -hmm. and not wanting to basically make a deal on it because it would then deprive Trump of a good of a good campaign issue. Kind of a cynical political ploy, but I understand what's going on. Right, exactly. So you got the, the some of the people on the left are, are saying it's too harsh, and then you got some of the people on the right that you know uh, maybe not harsh enough. Well, something or? needs to be done because everybody recognizes that the border is an issue. Mm -hmm. and the question is how can we do it in a, in a humane way? Right, and, and one in which. Uh, we, we don't turn everyone away, but one in which people are protected at the right. same time. And one in which the American economy and the American people are protected as well. That's very true. Well, we're going to have to see what happens. What, you think it's going to be Trump and Biden again? I think it's going to be. I mean, there's and there's only, a, you know, people talk about the ages, but there's only a three-year difference, really. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Which is kind of funny yeah. to talk about. Well, but I'll be back on Super tu on the day after Super Tuesday. Oh, that'll about. be exciting. Okay. okay. That'll be exciting. Well, Bill, thank you so much thank for you. joining us today. You, you bet. All right. Well, don't go away. We have more and we return. Okay.